But we begin tonight with the state of the city as Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan highlights the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Now, if one word sums up his 11th annual speech, it is progress. Mayor Duggan took center stage tonight at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church on the city's northwest side, a location chosen to highlight his theme that every neighborhood has a future. He also says the city has a chance to redefine its national image as the NFL draft comes to town next week. 300,000 visitors, 50 million people watching on TV. We got a chance to introduce ourselves again to America. And when we do, we hope to be just like the Lions and introduce America to a very different Detroit than they expected. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenaida is in Detroit tonight with how the speech reflected a city in the midst of tremendous change. State and city leaders and of course Mayor Mike Duggan all gathering at this church Wednesday night for the mayor's state of the city addressed. A lot of it was a victory lap, taking a look at things that are going well for the city, but there are still things that need to be addressed, especially in places outside of downtown Detroit. <laughs> It was a night of celebration for Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan, highlighting how far the city has come over the last few years at his State of the City address. The national headlines of Detroit always seeming negative, but now those headlines, they're changing. Ten years ago, when we were in the headlines, it was Carjack City and murder capital. In February, President Biden called Chief James White to the White House to lead a national conference on how to reduce gun violence in this country. The mayor touching on how people may remember the city from years ago. Broken down abandoned buildings like the Michigan Central Station that now will reopen in June. But he knows the work is not done. We are going neighborhood by neighborhood. But nothing makes any neighborhood feel more forgotten than the blight of abandoned houses. The mayor said 21,000 abandoned homes have been knocked down in six years, and those efforts will continue so business owners in Detroit neighborhoods can thrive and property value go up. Business owners like Isaac Brown. Like you can see right there all the trees and stuff, a lot of blight. Maybe you can knock down some houses too. Isaac knows a lot of jobs are going downtown, and he'd like to see more emphasis on communities like his own on the outskirts of the bright lights of downtown. It's been kind of hard getting people to work to work at the um, in the area because it's, it's other places that's uh, nicer. The mayor announced Dexter is getting some much needed streetscape maintenance, and those efforts began this week as other neighborhoods continue to be revitalized and restored. We are going to give the residents in these neighborhoods the quality of life that they deserve. The mayor said he's looking forward to the future of the city and looking forward to the draft. The state of the city ending on a high note, dedicating the Dexter Elmhurst Recreation Center to honor a community staple and rename it to the Helen Moore. Community Center. So a lot of positives out of the address, of course, but there are still questions that remain. What is going to happen to the Renaissance Center now that GM is moving out? How does the city better its public transportation systems, including the buses? These are things we'll, of course, make sure to stay on top of for you. In Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. All right, Ruta, you can watch Mayor Duggan's entire State of the City address on our website right now at WXYZ.com.